this is the second part of the topic koshi gose theorem for multiply connected domains in this lecture we will discuss a problem on koshi gose theorem for doubly connected domain we can discuss a problem evaluate integral over c 5z plus 7 divided by z square plus 2z minus 3 dz where c is the circle mod z minus 2 equal to 2 so here uh, our f of z is 5z plus 7 divided by z square plus 2z minus 3 so uh, this can be written as 5z plus 7 divided by uh, this z square plus 2z minus 3 can be written as it can be factorized into uh, z minus 1 into z minus z plus 3 right so uh, this f of z is not analytic at the point z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 3 okay which is not analytic at points is it is equal to 1 comma minus 3 okay and and it is analytic uh, everywhere in the complex plane except, except at these points okay now what about our uh, c the c is the circle mod z minus 2 equal to 2 that means a circle with center 2 and radius 2 that means we have uh, the circle is actually center 2 and this is the center this is 2 and radius 2 so uh, we'll have a uh, so uh, let this be a real axis this be imaginary axis and this point is 2 that is 2 plus 0 i 2 plus 0 i that is 2 and here radius is 2 okay so this is origin 0 plus 0 i so this point can be written as Uh, x equal to 2 or 2 comma 0. This is the comma as a uh, 2 comma 0 or 2 plus 0 i. Okay. So this is the circle C. So here we are given that this is circle. Uh, this is a uh, circle with the center 2.2 or 2 comma 0 and radius 2. Now, uh, if you are taking our uh, the singular uh, the points at which uh, our f of z is not analytic. Which are the points z equal to one and z equal to minus three? Here, z equal to minus uh, z equal to one lies uh, inside C. This will be z equal to one, and z equal to minus three will be here. Okay, outside of this minus one, minus two, minus three, it will be uh, somewhat here. Okay. So, uh, uh, of these points, of these points. Is it is equal to one lies inside C? Okay. Is it equal to one lies inside? C? This is is it equal to one? And is it equal to minus three lies outside C? Okay. Now, so this f of z is equal to this. Uh, if we if we are uh, using the partial fraction, we have. Here is something divided by z minus one plus something divided by z plus three. So to find uh, this, uh, the quantity uh, over z minus one, we have to replace uh, z equal to one here, uh, except for this. Okay. So. Uh, 5 into 1 plus 7 divided by 1 plus 3. 5 into 1 plus 7 divided by 1 plus 3. That is, 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 by 4. That is 3. It will be here. 3, 4, 3 here. 
12 by 4 is 3 and 2 uh, find the quantity over z plus 3 we have to replace z is equal to minus 3 because z plus 3 equals 0 when z equal to minus 3 so we have to replace z equal to minus 3 for this part only okay that means except this factor okay so 5 into minus 3 here will be 5 into minus 3 plus 7 divided by minus 3 minus 1 that is 5 into minus 3 is uh, minus 15 plus 7 that is minus 8 divided by minus 3 minus 1 so minus 4 that is minus 2 uh, plus 2 so here we will have uh, plus 2 okay so this is 3 by z minus 1 plus 2 by z plus 1 by partial fraction or you can directly use the partial fraction a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus z plus 3 and you have to uh, cross multiply and we need to find the a and b okay so uh, we have obtained f of z is equal to 3 by z minus 1 plus 2 by z minus 3, z plus 3 therefore we have uh, integral over c f of z dz that is integral over c this this is our integral f of z so this is nothing but we can write 3 into integral over c 1 by z minus 1 dz plus from this okay integral uh, 2 into integral over c uh, 1 by z plus 3 dz okay so this is equal to now we know uh, integral over c z minus 1 dz by the previous result uh, we, we have discussed a result in the uh, last lecture it was uh, integral over c uh, dz divided by z minus z naught whole or call power n is equal to 2 pi n 2 pi i if n is equal to 1 and it is 0 if uh, n is not equal to 1 and n is an integer okay an integer which is not equal to 1 where z naught is uh, a point z naught is a point uh, interior to c okay if z naught is a point if z naught is a point interior to c then we have integral over c dz by z minus z naught whole power n is nothing but 2 pi i when n is equal to 1 and 0 for all other n uh, natural number n okay so here in this case uh, here we have uh, this 1 by z minus 1 power 1 and here 1 by z plus 3 power 1 so is that is equal to 1 lies inside c okay that is z equal to 1 is a an interior point of this c so we have by that result we have 3 into uh, 2 pi i here n equal to 1 1 by z minus 1 power 1 here also n equal to 1 okay but uh, here z naught is 1 which is lies inside c okay so we have by using this result we have it is 3 into 2 pi i plus 2 into here this this uh, 1 by z plus 3 the integral over c 1 by z plus 3 this is here the function is 1 by 1 by z plus 3 so it is analytic uh, not analytic only at the point z equal to minus 3 and that minus 3 lies outside c okay so by cauchy's integral theorem we have this value of this is 0 okay by cauchy gauchy theorem we have the value of this integral is 0 because minus 3 is the only uh, the point at which f of z is not analytic that point is also called a singularity okay uh, the point at which f of z is not analytic is called a singularity so here this functions uh, this function has singularities z equal to 1 and z equal to minus 3 okay so uh, th this singularity lies outside the circle so we have uh, uh, with respect to this integral this function is analytic everywhere in the compass plane this function only this function is analytic everywhere in the compass plane except at the point z equal to minus 3 but that minus 3 is, lies outside c so this function 1 by z plus 3 is analytic on c and inside c because uh, because 
the point at which this function is not, not analytic is, is equal to 1 which is which, which is only inside c so regarding this function 1 by z plus 3 it is analytic everywhere in uh, on c and inside c so by cauchy gosset theorem this value will be 0 so and here we have uh, regarding this function 1 by z minus 1 we know this function is not analytic at the point z equal to 1 and that point lies inside c okay so by using this uh, result we, we have uh, the value of this integral is nothing but 2 pi i so the answer is 6 pi i i clear now we we uh, we can uh, extend uh, the cauchy gosset theorem uh, for multiply connected domains okay actually we know uh, cauchy gosset theorem for a multiply connected domain or a, for a uh, multiply or doubly connected domain we already discussed in the uh, last video that was uh, uh, if c is a, uh, d, d is a domain and uh, or, or a doubly connected domain that is uh, here uh, it has a one, one it has a hole and if uh, c is uh, say a simple closed curve and it's another curve c1 okay c1 and if f is analytic uh, uh, in the portion uh, f is analytic on c and c c1 on c and c1 and the uh, an analytic in the region uh, interior to c and exterior to c1 that is f is analytic in this region okay interior to c and uh, exterior to c1 then we have integral over c f of z dz is equal to integral over c1 f of z dz uh, this is this was the result we already discussed in the uh, previous lecture that is this is the uh, Cauchy Gosset theorem for uh, simply um, uh, multiply connected domain or doubly connected domain. Okay, doubly connected domain means uh, the domain has only one hole. This can be extended into uh, general uh, so multiply connected domain. Suppose we have we are taking uh, a triply connected domain. Triply connected domain means we have two uh, two holes in the domain. So this is the D. So we are taking C here. This is C, and this is C one. This is C two. Okay. So we are using, uh, we are uh, introducing cuts like this. We can uh, extend this as integral over C, and and, and suppose that uh, f of z is analytic on C one. That is on the boundary of C C one and C two on the boundary of C, C1 and C2 and it is also analytic uh, interior to C but exterior to C1 and C2 that is in this portion. Okay. In this portion uh, f of z is analytic then integral over C f of z dz is equal to integral over C1 f of z dz plus integral over C2 f of z dz. Okay. So this is the uh, Cauchy Gosset theorem for triply connected domain. So it can be generalized. Okay, that is for, for uh, 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 the Cauchy Gosset theorem uh, can be generalized into a similar multiply connected domain with n holes. This is this case is two with the two holes, and this case is with the one hole. Okay, we can state that theorem in the next lecture. Okay.